got a hit down in Mississippi. Yeah, we're looking for the old black man that lives in that room. Right here. traffic I hadn't been driving about an hour or so feels like forever Like as soon as we uh, get our hands on him, man, we'll have to turn and burn another another 11, 12 hours back towards Charleston. Ball headed, maybe in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. What does he go by? Frank. That's all. All right, brother. Appreciate it. Is this the old man right here? 
Yep. It goes by what? Uh, I don't know his name. Go by Frank? No, I don't know his name. Uh, in a wheelchair? Yeah, he's in a wheelchair. Pretty much always there. We were sent here from South Carolina uh -huh. to get this individual right here. Okay. He goes by Frank. You know what room he's in? 223. Oh, you already got it. Okay. Yeah. There's, I think he is in there with some water. Okay. I remember right. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to keep calling. I'm, I got to go uh, knock on the door. Coming over there said that uh, he is up in there with a woman. She knows him as Frank, everyone does. Yeah, we're looking for the old black man that lives in that room. Hello. Hello. Hey, so we were sent up from South Carolina to get him. We talked to, um, uh, I want to say, uh, I forgot the police department here. I'm not from uh, Mississippi. Okay. Yeah, whoever it was, I talked to like Lieutenant Carter earlier today. Uh, she knew we were coming okay. out here, but um, yeah, he's got some warrants out of South Carolina that uh, he just popped with this address. I guess he used it to get mail, and that's why how we figured out he was here. And, then we had somebody kind of sneak around the other day and take a picture of him outside, so we kind of verified it. And yeah, I mean, he knows. I mean, he knows he's got the warrants. That's why he's not coming out. Okay. Um. Well, what do you guys need me to do? Because I'm in Ocean Springs, which is like 30 minutes away. Do I need to drive down there? If that's the only way to get that door open, it's sounding like it. Let's come up. Yeah, that's the only way to open it because no one's there with a key. It'll just take me about a half an hour to get over there. Okay, that sounds like a plan. All right, I'll see you then. All right, bye-bye. Bye. All right, it took so long. All uh, right, we yeah. took us 12 hours to get here. We can wait a little longer. I think he's got the deadbolt lock. We've been out here for over an hour. There he is. Frankie. Why aren't you getting up coming to the door? That wasn't what huh? about. That's not what Well, you're going to have to get up. You're going back to South Carolina. You're under arrest. Mm, yeah. Come on. We done been out here fucking around with you long enough. Yeah, I'm tired of waiting. I'm not going to wait. Sorry. You're dressed and everything. Yeah. We. Washington in control of their playoff destiny. Girl is sitting at second in the NFC. Who will command the offense? Let go. Let go. What's in there? What's in there? We got you, Walk. Come on, hop up, man. You know what's up. You going to jail, bro? You got ten hour ride back to South Carolina, man. Where your shoes at? Get yourself together on the edge of that bed. Which shoes you gonna be wearing? Which one? This? Who should they be leading on the most? I don't know what to do. Bring it all down. Where's your girl at? You got a girl? No. Man, you knew what was up when we were knocking on the door. Bo, you know you never. Yeah, right. We told you we were, man. Well, it don't matter now. You're gonna go sit in jail for a couple months, like you did in Florida. <clears throat> Because you never go to court, you never listen, you always run. <laughs> You're going to have to stand on it, Bubble. 
You got anything you don't want to get caught with? Because I'm going to find it anyway. He's been trying to buy a car. Well, we, yeah, we had we had a bonds lady from here come here and prank knock the door the other day and took a picture of him in there. Leah. <laughs> yeah, that's my cousin. Yeah, we, we owe Leah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. My cousin. Co coincidentally, that's who I found and who was willing to come help me. Miss Thornton. Yeah, yep. to keep us. Yep, yep. Miss Thornton. That's my that's, people. That's her. That's yeah. my people. So uh, she come and got him, and so we're not going to take the wheelchair, but we'll probably take him he down. Walks. Okay, 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 that's good. He, yeah. he plays that shit as a... Okay, we yeah. thought we were thinking that. Yeah, he's he, a, sure he'll get yeah. over there in the wheelchair to the road and then run across the bucket street and get a case of beer. I got Run you. back across that's the wheelchair. That's what we need to hear. Yeah. yeah, he can walk. I got you. So we're, we are your bail bondsmen. What are the people that bonded you out? If we didn't come and get you today, we were about to lose 20 grand on Thursday. They're going to take our $20,000. Hey, keep me right here and I'll pull over here. Okay. We'll put that in the and then we'll help him down the step. I'm not going to let you fall out the car, but you're going to have to push with your legs, brother. There you go. Now you're going to lift this leg up and you're going to swing it just like that. And I will move that seat up and give you some leg room. You good? Now hold on. There you go. Now straighten up in there and put your seatbelt on. We got somewhere to be. We got him in the car and we're taking him to jail now. So here we go, back to Charleston, South Carolina. About another 10 hours. Let's do this. Come on. Different name. Come on.